players thank you for joining us if you are just joining us subscribe to this channel for more of our videos and in this class we want to solve this problem now let's take the log on both sides we have log 5 raised to power 3 then raised to power x minus 5 equals to log 3 raised to power 5 then raised to power x minus 3 and from there from the law of log reading when we have log m raised to power p this power of p can come to the back here and this will be p log m so when we apply something like that here the power can come to the back and here if everything should come here we have 3 raised to power x minus 5 then log 5 which is equal to also on this side we take everything to this side now to the back we have 5 raised to power x minus 3 then log 3 so from there we can separate the log on one side by dividing this side with log 5 and also divide this side with log 5 so also let's separate the exponent on one side by dividing this side by 5 raised to power x minus 3 and also divide this side by 5 raised to power x minus 3 and when we simplify what we have here this log 5 cancel log 5 and we have 5 raised to power x minus 3 cancel each other here then we have 3 raised to power x minus 5 over 5 raised to power x minus 3 then equals to log 3 over log 5 so this is what we have here we can rewrite what we have here and separate this since we have subtraction here we can separate it and have division that's 3 raised to power x divided by 3 raised to power 5 then all over that is from the law of indices so we can separate and have division so that's 5 raised to power x divided by 5 raised to power 3 then equals to on this side we have equals to log 3 over log 5 and from there also we can see from here that we can change this division to multiplication we can change to multiplication then we have 3 raised to power x over 5 raised to power x we will multiply by 5 raised to power 3 now over 3 raised to power 5 you see when we separate this one division here it means divided by 3 raised to power 5 over 5 raised to power 3 then when we change division to multiplication what is done we go so it will switch you know position and we have equals to on this side we have so let me write this one again and say this is log 3 okay let's leave it like that log 3 over log 5 then from there we can see that we will rewrite this one now and say we have 3 over 5 raised to power x because both are raised to power x then let's remove this you know fraction by multiplying you know the two sides by the reciprocal of this so the reciprocal here is 3 raised to power 5 over 5 raised to power 3 so it will cancel each other here and when i multiply it on this side 3 raised to power 5 over 5 raised to power 3 so i've multiplied both sides with reciprocal of this so that i have only this one left here which is 3 over 5 raised to power x then what will be left on this side will be 3 raised to power 5 over 5 raised to power 3 multiplied by log 3 then over log 5 which i can write this way so from there now since we have you know in exponent form now i can write everything like this in log form again that we involve log that is when i have 
a raised to the power x equals to n. Don't forget that this will be the same thing as x equals to log n base a. That is changing from index form to you know logarithm form. We have this. So let's apply that in what we have now. Then our x will then be equals to so we have from here x will now be equals to log of everything we have here, which is log 3 raised to the power 5, then log 3 over 5 raised to the power 3, log 5. Then everything will be to base 3 over 5. And uh, what I have here, I can also rewrite it again and say this will be x equals to. So that will give me x equals to log into bracket 3 raised to the power 5 log 3, which is divided by 5 raised to the power 3 log 5. Then I can separate it and say divided by log. 3 over 5. That's we use change of you know base there. We separate the log now. And uh, this will give us an approximate solution here. Of course, I can separate this one here and say this will give me everything here now. That is log. That will be log into bracket 3 raised to the power 5 log 3, which is divided by 5 raised to the power 3 log 5. Then everything divided by log 3, then minus log 5. So that is what we have there for the solution of our x, that is the value of our x. And when we use our calculator for this, we get a solution that when we substitute into the original function, we are going to have the approximate solution. We say thank you for joining us in this class. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.